pretty safe. Look. Look. This is my... Oh, oh, oh! oh! Even though police are supposed to uphold the law, sometimes they break it in shocking ways. Today, we'll dive into stories of clueless cops who made huge blunders, proving that justice always catches up with those who think they're above it. In May of 2019, emergency fire and ambulance squads were called to assist a 47-year-old man who had arrived from out of town on a bus. The man, who was later identified as Houston, was reportedly having a seizure. This gentleman in the back on the right side in the green. Oops, sorry, what? Oh, the police are here now. Hey, buddy. All right. All right. Thank you. So the bus got here, and he isn't responsive. Okay. Were you on the bus? Sir. I work at the bus station here. Okay. Um, so when the Sir. driver... Um, Sir. So when the driver came, and he's like, I have a the person, and then he's like kind Sir. of gasping for air. Yeah. They... Does anyone know him? No one. Were you guys on the bus? Yeah. Was he having like a seizure? Did you guys, was he act, you know what a seizure looks like? Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, just sitting quietly? Okay. And the crappy thing is, the seats don't go back. Anyone on Okay. And he put him on the floor because he's a bigger guy. Sure, no, absolutely. Do you know um, no, was the driver, with somebody else? no, the driver has his double bag okay. with all of his information. How long has he been on the bus? Um, I would say since I called 911. Well, he's been... Well, he was riding the bus. Where was it coming from? Um, Milwaukee. First responders rushed to the scene to help Houston, offering what little comfort they could before the real crisis unfolded. Has he been talking to anybody on the bus? Oh, the Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Say yes. Oh, no. I don't know any of that. I'll take a pen right there when you're ready. What do you need from me? I said get out of your way, but I'm kind of trying. No, you get right there. Can I just get somebody's name so I know who I, maybe like you've been talking the most, just so I know who I talk to if I have any other questions? Is that okay? Awesome. Did anyone witness this? Nobody witnessed the seizure. He got here. Um, passenger here said he did go in and use the bathroom and he came back and then he was just quiet. Uh, Agonal bleeding. Is there anything in the bathroom that would indicate you something? I've been stuck here. Oh, you're stuck here? Yeah. You guys can let me through. I'd be happy to go look. Oh, he used this bathroom? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the bathroom in the building. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay
Yes. Is that alright if I just I check out real quick? Stand up really quick? Yeah, please. That would actually be helpful if you don't mind if I just pat you down quick. Uh, I have a problem with that. Okay. Do you have any anything on you that can hurt these guys at all? No, sir. Okay. How come you have a problem with that? Because I, I don't know what I have. Well, here's what happened. You went unresponsive. I... And you're agonally breathing, which means like laborious, like pre-death breathing. They gave you a little bit of nausea, which treats open. I'm not saying that you did anything intentionally or illegal, but because of that, that makes me think needles. Even though you're telling me it's pills, I just want to triple check that before you lay on that cot. Is that cool? Officer Christensen and Sergeant Biese asked to pat Houston down to check him, but he turned the officer down, stating that he had no time as he had to get back to Wausau, take care of his ailing wife, and pay the rent. How many pills do you think you took? Okay, and they're your prescription pain meds? No. Is it a pen, Steve? Are they prescription? I just don't want you to fall. Prescription no, pain meds? Fall. I just gotta get my. Uh, okay. Prescription pain meds? Yeah, they were my wife's pills. Okay, alright. Uh, do you have more of the bottles so we can see what no, we're working it, with? Um, I just had the four uh, pills that she had. So. Okay, what kind of pills were they? They were just um, like morphine. Like okay, and they're your wife's? Yeah. And they're her prescription? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. What I'm gonna do, bud, I'm gonna pat you down, okay? You're not in any trouble, but I need to make sure nothing's gonna happen with them, okay? All right? Wait, I, I can't, uh, I have to check myself first. All right, check oh, yourself, wreck nah. yourself? Yeah. All right, just... Phone charger? Where's my phone? Is that a vaping thing? No, it's a lighter. Oh, lighter, okay. All right, can I pat you down real quick then? Uh, Because this doesn't have to be a big deal. I want you to get some medical treatment. I don't need any medical treatment. Sure you do. Because uh, remember what we said? That stuff can temporary. That temporary stuff can wear off. It can't wear off. I, um, I the Narcan to, um, can. I used to have. Um, I used to be on. Um, um, No, it was, it was that, um, at this point, the officer made a serious mistake that complicated the situation. They should have started the search immediately, but they gave Houston too much time, allowing him to pull out his .380 semi-automatic. Right, that last maybe, I'm going to give you five, ten more minutes before you go down again. I don't think I'm going down. Oh, I do. I do. My feet hurt. How am I going down again? Oh, I... Give it five more minutes, we'll be seeing you again. So I, I, I don't know now. Well, we got you standing. Got you I don't standing. really need to go. I need to get to my wife. Okay. We need you to go, though. You need to get checked out. Cause I can't go. I have to go to my wife. My wife is in a hospital. But you're That's not going to do I your left. wife any good if you're dead. And you were well on your way on that bus. No, I wasn't. I was sleeping. That no, night. you definitely weren't. Just gotta see about my feet, man. My feet are hurting. That's the problem. So. I just want to get my feet from uh, hurting. These are new shoes and stuff. So I'm gonna have a seat then. We have to go to the hospital anyway to start that process, and we have to have them evaluate to make sure that you're making safe decisions for yourself. I don't want to go there. Real quick, do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Okay. You kind of have a bulge on your right side. That's my phone. Okay, don't reach for anything. Just okay, so that's my phone. Oh. Don't want I have a problem with officers. Lift up your shirt then. I just lift up your shirt. Lift up your shirt. We want to make sure everybody's safe. Look. Look. This is my... What happened next was straight out of a crime movie. Houston pulled the trigger twice. Firefighter Lundgaard and police officer Paul Christensen. Christensen reacted quickly by pulling out his service and opening fire.
Despite being wounded, Houston continued. He ran away grabbing a bystander, Brittany Shell Walter, a 30-year-old resident of Appleton, by the neck and using her as a human shield. Skull Walter was tragically in the head and in the leg during the chaos. Do not move! Why is there any officer on scene? He has the gun. I don't know where it is. Please give me an update on the extent of any injuries that you guys know about. Okay, give me an update. Okay. We were over there. He's, we were trying to pat him down. He had a bulge in his right that Christian should notice. We're taking it through the bag! He popped up. Stay where you are. Don't move. Started. Went over to her. Pointed his gun to her. There was exchange of. This is where we're at. I got her long. Southbound traffic. Stop digging through that bag! You're going to be okay, but stop digging in there, okay? Just keep your hands where you can see them, lady, okay? You're gonna be okay. 116. I can't see his other hand. I can't either. I'm gonna take up a position on that right, truck. We have, okay. okay, one male. Are you guys okay? Alright. We're in a that way now. You have a my staff. My phone's over there. My phone's over there. Do you, there. Don't worry about it. Get out of here. Go back that way. Show me your right hand! Hey, no, do not move! This Houston guy was something else. Even after he collapsed from his injury, he continued to flail his arms and leg. Although he had from his gun, the police were unaware and approached him cautiously. Despite being severely wounded, Houston resisted the authorities' attempts to restrain him. Just stay there. We don't want anybody to get hurt or anything. Thank you. Hey, I can advance to the tree and cover him if we want to get her out of here. Where is the shield? Right here, Borden. All right. Houston, listen to me. Keep your hands right there. Houston, do not move. You got it? Nope. Houston, do not move. Do not move. Stay right there. Him. We'll get you. Just cover. stay there, okay, buddy? Get the, get the ambulance up for the female! Don't Just move. stay there, buddy, okay? Don't point, don't move. Where is the... Tell me. Your Tell me. Behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now. Put your hands behind your back, buddy. Put your hands behind your back. Grab one, buddy. Please grab one. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind now. your back now. Put your hands behind your back. You want to yeah, shield cover him? Please, ma'am. I know. I see that. Just don't. I don't know where the gun. Therefore, don't move. Cover him with the shield. Yep. Cover him with the shield. There you go. Okay. Ah. Where I can't. Put your hands behind your back. The officers repeatedly demanded that Houston surrender his gun, but even in a state, Houston refused to comply. He stubbornly refused, disobeying their orders and holding on to his defiance. There's a small, like, 380 style. Hey, Don't Stop move! Don't Just move! Don't move! You're good. Just stay where you are. Just stay. Stop moving. Stop moving. I'm going to need to come through the library lot to get over by us. Let me move around to his feet. I don't know if it's under Secure his legs. I'm going to start checking. Oh, good. Clear. He's secure. Don't kick your legs! Where are you hit, man? Where are you hit? 
Got one move here. Don't fuck your leg. leg. Move. Houston, just stay still. Houston, where where'd you put your? I throw it. Where? Where? Let me let me find Do it. Do not kick your legs. Hey, I need to find it. Where is it at? Please help me. The faster we find it, the faster we can get you out of here. Please help me over. You have that hey, up. This chaotic situation turned out to be the worst. Tragically, Lundgaard was back and the injury proved to be dead. Officer Christensen was also shot her body, resulting in injuries as well. Houston, too, eventually passed away from his wounds. After serving the Appleton Fire Department for 14 years, Lundgaard received a posthumous promotion to driver engineer. Office Christensen and Sergeant Bees were placed on administrative leave following the event, a standard procedure when firearms are Officer Christensen had only been with the Appleton Police Department for a year, but Sergeant Bees had been there for over 15. This next police officer was as unprofessional as one could get. Why, why, why are you coming up on me like that, man? Well, I'm not in any courtroom or I'm not in a courtroom or anything. I'm the auditor went to Suffolk County Traffic Violations Bureau in New York, prepared to face the four retaliatory citations that a sergeant from the Suffolk County Police Department had issued. The auditor decided to record the entire experience. However, things took an unexpected turn. Well, back away from me, man. What are you doing? Let's go. Back, back away. The back away. Come this on. is not a, I'm not in a I'm not in a courtroom. I'm not in a courtroom. Who are you? Yeah, yeah why 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 are you coming up on me like that, man? Well, I'm not in any courtroom or I'm not in a courtroom or anything. I'm not in a restricted area. This is a public area. But this is a public area. I'm not Yes, I'm in a public area. This is a public Sir, area. There's no filming in the area. Let's go. Yeah, there's no reason for you to get. Listen, are you security guard or law enforcement? Are you security guard or law enforcement, sir? Can I get your name? Badge number 117. Hey, how you doing? Are you a supervisor here? Yes. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video. I'm a journalist. Sure, come on this way. I'm going to show you the sign. Yeah, well, let me see the sign. Sure, no problem. So you probably, I'm going to ask you to nicely to please shut this off and then read the sign and then determine how you want to proceed. So what rules of the chief judge? Are you law enforcement? Yeah, I so mean, there's I, no reason so, for five so five security guards. Read the sign and then stop recording. Are you law enforcement, sir? Yes. You're law enforcement? I'm going to ask you to read the sign. Are you public safety? And I'm going to ask you to read the sign. And rules stop of the recording. chief judge. Electronic recording and audiovisual coverage in court facilities, court proceedings. Yeah, of court proceedings. Whether or not the court is in session is written. Where's the actual order? This is just the sign. Where's like an order from the that judge? Is the order. From the chief judge, right there. Yeah, the chief judge of where? His camera, which was meant to capture a normal visit, ended up capturing a far more intense confrontation than he anticipated. As soon as security officers and staff at the bureau saw that he was filming, they immediately ordered him to stop. So once again, you're in a courthouse. Yeah the sign you've seen no video no photographers no recording what's the law you've written, though you've written it in me you might want to take a look at this because this is criminal contempt yeah you continue and you know i don't want to see that happen you don't have law you don't have arrest the capabilities your security um, well, guard if i do or don't i can call a uh, police officer and a deputy sheriff if, you, if you'd like me to what can i do to assist you I mean, you, you could definitely call law enforcement. I, w I would love for you to call law okay. enforcement because I would like for you to get educated. This is not a law. I these are that. these are policies, sir. Can I get your name? Sure, Captain Wright. Captain Wright. Ray. Captain Ray. Yes. Yeah, these are policies, and okay. this this officer here tried to come come at me from behind and put his hands on me. Oh, he tried to put his hands on you. Yeah, he tried. I had to back up and, and put my hand to block so, him. So anyway. How can security I help officers and public so safety how can I help you today? security officers and public safety like yourself are here to observe and report sir they're not here to put you're not here to put your hands on anybody man that's not that's so, not okay so what can I do to help you today that's not okay your your, your public so what safety can I do to help you today? I'm not a, I'm not a danger of the public safety stuff. yes I am recording so I'm a journalist I have a first okay. amendment right to record yes, in publicly yes, accessible do. areas okay, I'm gathering here, content the signs are very clear. I'm not in a court room. Do you have business here? Can I say I'm not in a court room. Yes, I do. Well, it says if you actually read the sign, office or hallway. Yeah. 
So I'm going to ask So where's you, the courtroom? So I'm going to ask you Where's the courtroom? Is this the hallway of a courtroom? Nicely, you've read the signs. The officer was clueless and still insisted that recording in public areas is prohibited, even though the auditor kept claiming his rights. This interaction demonstrated how little the police officers know about the rights that they are sworn to protect. But if you want to get technical with the signs. How you doing, sir? Uh, you law enforcement officer? Yes, I am. Suffolk County uh, Deputy Sheriff? Yes. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Anthony Ayers, 579. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, no yeah, I'm just a First Amendment, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm a First Amendment advocate. I'm a uh -huh. journalist. I'm not in, this is, there's no okay. courtrooms around here where I'm at. These are publicly accessible areas. Mm -hmm. I'm just working on a story, gathering content for a story, okay. peacefully, I'm not bothering anybody, and they're, they're making a big deal about it. What are, you, what are you trying to accomplish? I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to accomplish exercising my rights without having being told to stop. That's what, that's really what I'm trying to accomplish. You mind talking to me out here real quick? I mean, I'd be happy to talk with you. Can you I, me all you want? I mean, we could, yeah, we could talk, but are I don't want to talk out there unless you're going to. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just recording all the signage here okay. and all the public documents that are inside. Okay. Yeah, so I'm an independent journalist, like I told you. I'm just working on a story on the, I'm not Which anywhere story? near, it's, it's a story on the, the Traffic Violations Bureau, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near any courtrooms. Nowhere near courtroom. All right. No, yeah, or, yeah, not yeah, even yeah, in them. This is, I, I showed the, I showed I, the I gentleman all yeah. the signs. I asked right. him to read it. Yeah, but these aren't the law. These aren't, the law. these aren't the law, though. These aren't the law, sir. These are signs. These are policies. These policies of what the building is asking you of. Yeah, so. they're policies. I have a right. This is a public building. I have the right to okay. be in this public building. And just because exactly. I'm recording shouldn't restrict my access to the public building. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not interrupting any courtrooms. I'm not doing anything of that nature. I'm not causing a disturbance. If anything, that security guard over there, while I was filming these signs over here, he tried to run up on me and grab me from behind. And I had to like put my hand out to stop him. When a law enforcement official showed up, he showed the same lack of understanding of rights as the security guard. Thankfully, the auditor was fully aware of his rights. He didn't think twice to give them a hard time when the cops asked him why he was filming. When he spoke up, the cops had no idea what to say. The, the guy right behind you, right by the computer screen over there. It was uncalled for. I'm, I'm a reasonable guy. I'm not trying to break the law. No, I'm not I'm breaking the law. Are. I'm just saying. I'm this, not breaking the law. They have to sign up here for a reason. I understand. That's... It's a policy. But they also, sir, yeah. deputy, they also had signs once upon a time that said people of a certain skin color couldn't come into an establishment, correct? Right. Did the, with, were those signs acceptable? Okay. Just because it's on a right, sign. Can we talk over here? So I, I'd rather... Over here? I, I, I'll get out the way. We can come over here. Come over here. Just follow me over here. We can come over here. So what are you trying to do? Can we just record in I'm just recording in publicly accessible areas. That's all okay. I'm doing. And if you if you if you are going to violate my rights in any way, you let me know that and I'll take it up with the proper I'll take it up with the proper venue. If you're gonna arrest me for any reason. I, I, I would hope not. I'm not breaking the law. <laughs> That's what I'm just trying to talk to you, but I'd rather talk to you over there. All right, but I, I don't want to go over there, so I want to stay where I'm at. I would, I, this is a public building. I'd rather stay where I'm at, sir. The cop was dumbfounded when the auditor presented him with the undeniable facts. The auditor remained steadfast, schooled the officers on the very laws they were supposed to enforce, and then walked away from the scene like a total boss. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw some of the most outrageous and irresponsible behavior behavior by law enforcement officers who thought they were above the law. It's a stark reminder that no one is untouchable and justice will catch up with those who abuse their power. These cops deserve to be held accountable for their actions and we must continue to expose and challenge such misconduct. If you agree, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to stay updated on future content like this. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.